Here we go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Culture Shock Podcast. I am here today with two of the three band members in uh, uh, my band, Subliminal Paranoia. We have the guitarist and the bassist. Introduce yourselves, gentlemen. Name's Leon. Um, Leon Leonzo Sanchez. Um, the guitarist for Subliminal Paranoia. Hello, I'm Gus, and I play <laughs> I play the bass. Yeah. I play the bass for Subliminal Paranoia. <laughs> okay, all right. I need. I'm sorry. I was laughing, but <laughs> what the um, <laughs> video audience needs to understand <laughs> why <laughs> the uh, why uh, oh. Gus looks like that or Giafabo. Uh, why he looks like that is because his uh, monitor that he's using Zoom on does not have a have a camera, so he just shows the picture. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. How long have I known each of you? Well, Leon, go first. Um, honestly, we've <laughs> known each other since um, ninth grade, I believe. We've known each other. At least uh, ninth grade, we've seen each other, right? But we didn't actually start making like close contact friendship like 10th grade. No, so we loaned each other. We known each other for at least three years. Yeah, going on at least, going yeah. on four actually. Same with uh, four. Yeah, the uh, the episode, the last episode of the podcast was Raul. Uh, I've gone, I've not known him going on four years, and I've known you going on four years. So, Gus, go ahead. Um. Well, I knew about you in eighth grade. But, like, we didn't really start talking until, like, ninth Damn. grade. <laughs> I'm trying to stay serious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but, uh, I can't. <laughs> we, we started, like, really, like, talking more in, like, ninth grade. And, like, but, hanging out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because, oh, that's a story we have to tell. Uh, <laughs> what I did in eighth grade. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> oh, I remember, I remember. It was at oh. the, it, when we were practicing, right? It was at the graduation practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god how, how, dude i fucking yeah you had, you had to apologize to oh my us. god dude that was hilarious because <laughs> like what happened i like tripped up what happened was i tripped up the stairs and i kind of regained my balance right and i was walking <laughs> and when i was walking down i like tripped and rolled <laughs> you remember that yeah i remember I like, that i like tripped and rolled down like i was fucking uh rolling down a hill but i rolled down the stairs they were like go sit down i was like okay <laughs> so i went i ran to my seat and i slipped like a fucking looney tunes character <laughs> like <laughs> i slipped like a looney tunes character fucking feet flew up in the air and everything landed on my back and uh yeah I sat down and then I got in trouble. <laughs> and then they made you apologize to everyone. Fucking the principal made me apologize. Even though I wasn't trying to fuck up. It just happened. Now that grass gets slippery, bro. And we practiced yeah. like in the morning. Plus, it was all the grass was all fucking wet too. It was like moist. So they couldn't blame me for fucking that up. It was their fault. <laughs> <laughs> And then she had me go out on the mic, say, oh, I won't make y'all look bad, even though I don't know if I made y'all look bad at first. It was I just think, I, I think they made you promise you won't do that at the uh, the graduation. I don't yeah, remember. They were like, oh, you don't don't do that. I was like, look, it wasn't my fucking fault. It was y'all's fault. Look, I didn't even try. <clears throat> look, I didn't even try to do that. It just happened. All right. So you can fucking suck a dick <laughs> well uh, okay so this podcast has been in the works for what six hours <laughs> 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 we've been trying to do we planned this out what six hours ago maybe yesterday <laughs> yeah and uh, this is not the entire band we are missing one member because he is uh 
he's doing something else. He couldn't be here. He's gonna he's gonna be here later on for uh since I'm gonna have two episodes. This is with three fourths of the band. I'm gonna have one with the full band later on when everyone is free. And my main goal for whatever podcast I do, I don't know why it's staying on your face, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to need to try to fix that. All right, cool. I fixed it. All right. So uh, my main goal for every podcast I do is I try to make my – I'm trying to make sure my guests feel comfortable, whatever, like, we talk about or, like, whatever the case may be. I'm just trying to make sure everyone's comfortable and they want to do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to feel like, oh, you're. I'm forcing you to do this shit. I'm clearly not. I'm just waiting until everyone's free so it can all work out. So, uh, so you guys have known me for Leon going on four years. Gus, would you say maybe even five or no, yeah, like no, no. about, <laughs> about five. All right. So, uh, moving on, let's talk about the first time. Uh, each one of you like met me, if y'all can remember that far back. Um, I remember a couple times that we have. Um, how do you say it? Like, um, we do some stupid shit together. It's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, work training. When you Melvin Juan threw each other around. Oh you yeah. Got, oh yeah. Remember, <laughs> you guys you guys got in trouble? Dude, got in trouble. I remember that. <laughs> if you were, you guys were throwing Melvin around hey. and then all of a sudden you hear the whistle go off. <laughs> oh we fucking he flew, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I had the same period of uh, <laughs> PE, but I wasn't in weight training. I remember that though. You yeah. guys came into the lockers and then told me everything. Yeah, because I remember didn't we show you the video too? Yeah, you guys showed me the yeah. video. <laughs> I posted the video on Instagram. Yeah, it's still up it. too. I fucking yeah. put it on my story, and I was like, I remember this. <laughs> I was there for that too. I was like, I was like, two machines away from you guys too, and I remember you, I looked over, and I Melvin was in the flying. air. <laughs> I see Melvin flying, and then I see you two laughing, and then I hear the coach Bud whistle go off, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> they messed up. Because like, what happened was when he, like, when we threw him, he flew into the air, and like he did like a jump in while he was in air so he could get more air <laughs> yeah i saw and that then he landed i don't i don't remember how he landed but like i think he like tucked and rolled and did like a little army roll yeah but it was still funny as fuck we didn't get because yeah we got the first one on video but it wasn't uh all we thought it could be so we were like let's do it again and the first one they didn't catch us so the first one remains on video. The second one doesn't because coach, uh, coach was, he was like this. He was screaming at Raul, telling him to delete it. He was For real? Screaming. Yeah, he was screaming in his face. He was like, "Delete it!" I was Jeez. like, I was like, okay. I was just standing there, just staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So busy time. Uh, Gus, um, let's talk about, well, if you can remember, when was the first time I, well, like, met you and then started talking? Like, when we actually talked, I think it was in freshman year. Because I remember I met Melvin freshman year, too, because I was hanging out with Aiden, and then we were in the gym, and then I met, I met Melvin, and then, you know that accent that he does, the, I think it's Jamaican? Yeah. Yeah, I, it made me laugh. So I was like, ha, ha, ha. I, I think thought... it was during lunch. We like, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. wait, wait, wait. It was like, okay, I remember, remember in ROTC where they, they kept asking you to cut your hair? Yeah, and I was like, nah, I'm not cutting my hair, <laughs> dog. Like, it was long, dude. Dude, it, I think it, it was longer than this, right? Yeah. Because this is fucking uh, since last year. I can put it in a little shitty ponytail. That's how long I can't it is. grow my hair up. That's but, why I cut my hair. But uh, last yeah. year, um, I think that year, uh, my hair was like, that was when I had like legit fucking long hair. 
and I wasn't losing any of it. <laughs> that was before I started losing my hair. <laughs> so, um, uh, <laughs> no, I, I remember when like you actually cut your hair a bit, and then they asked you, it was like, did you cut it already? And you said, yeah. And then, and then they told you to like switch classes. And, like, <laughs> they told you to leave. I remember that. I, I remember uh, the, the fucking, the nice teacher. I can't remember what his name was, but he, um, he's the one that kicked me out. Yeah, I remember. And he, I was like, okay. I was like, all right, cool. So I got kicked out and then I had the, like, I legitimately had to cut my hair the, the day after I got kicked out because I was wrestling at the time. Yeah. And I don't let you braid it. Yeah, I can wrestle with long hair because girls wrestle with long hair all the time. Yeah. But for the dudes, they can wrestle with long hair except for, um, like, I was going through those wrestling workouts. And just having long hair while doing that isn't fun. Nah. It's because these are some very, very intense workouts that fucking suck. Yeah. Right? They suck so bad. And uh, so, like, I decided I'm just going to cut my hair because it, it'd be a whole lot easier to just uh, wrestle with short hair instead of long hair. So uh, if any of you guys can remember, wasn't it, wasn't it Gus, our first conversation about like wrestling or something like that? I can't remember. Yeah, what it was about we wrestling. Said about each other. I think we talked about Brock Lesnar being like champ or something. Because this was... I don't remember. 2018, if I can remember correctly, right? 2000. Yeah, yeah, 2018. It was like 2018. So he what he could have been Universal Champ at the, no, yeah, he was Universal Champ at the time. Yeah, because uh, yeah, this was around August, maybe. Yeah. So he was you know this is before uh Roman got cancer. Yeah. Yeah, that was way before that. So uh. So Brock was universal champ, and we were talking about <laughs> how it's some bullshit that he never shows up. <laughs> he he defended her like five times that year, dude. He just yeah, like he just fucking he grabs the belt and then just leaves. Yeah, and then he like he held it as long as like CM Punk, remember? He he held it two days longer than CM Punk because yeah. Vince is is just because they wanted to break CM Punk's record. Yeah. I don't want to say anything bad because I might, you know, one day end up working for the WWE. So I don't want to. That'd be crazy. I don't want to be like, oh, you remember this podcast you did when you were like fucking <laughs> 18 and senior yeah. in high school? Yeah, fuck you. We're not taking your, <laughs> we're not taking your talents. So uh, they were just trying to break CM Punk's reign because at the time, um, WWE and CM Punk weren't on the best of terms. No. So uh, they just tried to break it. So they did by like a day. He held it one day longer. So. Uh, and then I think we talked about Rock as well. Oh, yeah. Because like those were the two uh, setup points for us. It, it was wrestling yeah. and it was also like the type of music we listened to. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if yeah, we, we should... were just like meant to be best friends. It was just <laughs> it's like Triple H and Shawn Michaels. It's, it's yeah. just like you know what I'm saying. You can't imagine. I mean, you can't imagine one without the other, but it's not as fun. Yeah. You know, you know, what I find crazy though, because back in seventh grade, I also met a guy who was like he like his favorite band was Iron Maiden. And he was like very into Iron Maiden, mm-hmm. and then. We we also started talking about wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Dude. So fucking twice. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if you want to talk about it on this uh, episode of the podcast, but when we, do you want to talk about it when we went to the Slayer concert? Oh, that was fun, dude. Yeah, I like, got the I got the beanie around here somewhere. Yeah. So um, I I still have the shirt too. 
I remember, like, on the car ride, we were so hyped. Dude, I remember it was you, me, your mom, and Norman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Norman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. People would find that weird, but yeah, like, like everybody... I want him to come because he said he's never gone to a Slayer concert. And he's like one of his he favorite. He said bands. he never gone to a concert before. So I kind of yeah, felt bad like, for him. I was he like, had to go to the last. I was one. like, bro, if you if you want to go, it just makes you. I was like, come on just like all you have to do is take us we'll, we'll yeah. fucking i'll give you the extra ticket <laughs> i remember i told him he's like he's like you're going to slayer concert and then i was like yeah you want to come he's like let me talk to my wife about it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> i remember that he was like let me talk to my wife <laughs> and then yeah. we were hoping the football team would have yeah lost. dude i never wanted a football team to lose as much as i did and that it was night. our team bro. <laughs> it was our team like i mean i i i don't um like i have no beef with the football team yeah. but if you gave me the decision to go to a slayer concert the f- the final weekend of Slayer concerts, by the way, yeah, it, like ever, if you put those two up against one another, the football team winning or the Slayer concert, I choose the Slayer concert. It's like the football the team time. would have more seasons in the future. Slayer won't have any more concerts. Slayer won't, yeah, like they won't <laughs> have any more concerts. The football team has next season. Yeah, you know, I, have, I, I have nothing against the football team either. It's just I don't either. If, so. if they won, Norman couldn't have gone. And we couldn't have gone. Well, yeah. well we would have to come we, up with a plan B or C. Yeah. Wasn't plan B just to have your mom take us? Yeah. Because I remember we uh, we were going to take Billy, but... Uh, yeah, but Billy couldn't go. Yeah, he couldn't go. And then he... That would have uh, been cool, dude. We could have took a Billy. Yeah, that that would have been so cool. And uh, so we went to the Slayer concert. Dude, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, telling that story about the Slayer concert. Oh my god, dude. That's that smell. Was, like immediately once you walked into the venue, <laughs> you smelled just pop, weed and alcohol, <laughs> and cigarettes, Everywhere, everything. I thought we were gonna, we we're gonna like catch secondhand smoke or yeah, something. Yeah, I thought <laughs> I was I thought I was gonna get high. Like, <laughs> like so whatever, like whatever, like I smell that around like my apartment. So I'm like, oh nothing, this is nothing compared, compared to, to what, the Slayer concert. Slayer. <laughs> dude remember when norman caught those people smoking like, oh yeah two, two rows in, in front of us yeah he was like because i remember he pointed it out to me he was like he was like hey look at that yeah. <laughs> i was like i was like cool <laughs> he was like no not cool I was that's like, oh, not cool, okay bro. i was like oh okay it's like don't do drugs kids <laughs> dude you remember that one lady that was like Two rows. The blonde her. lady. The blonde yeah, that blonde chick. She, she had like no Dude. seats, bro. Like she just kept dancing everywhere. She was just fucking making a fool of herself. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with that. I feel like she was drunk and sna- snuck yeah. in. Though. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that happened too. Dude, we saw Philip. Yeah, we saw Philip H. on Salmo and the illegals. Yes, yeah, and we also saw Primus and Ministry. Ministry, Ministry. Uh, like I don't really know about those ones, but they're pretty cool. Like I didn't know about ministry to be honest with you. Like I, the only band I knew about was uh, Primus because of uh, My Name Is Mud, and oh. like that whole album is just. And plus, it's one of the greatest bass players of all time, Les Claypool. Yeah, got... he's got the Iron Thumb, man. Yeah, like I, I, I heard the, the bass. I was like, oh, I like this. Like immediately, once I heard the beginning to my name is mud which is the uh the um bass slap let me, i i probably can't play it because it's going to be on youtube but it's the but it is like it's the fucking the triple hit yeah remember and, and i popped so so hard that wrestling and that uh popped wrestling, wrestling reference wrestling terminology for yeah. i fucking went ecstatic I'd fucking I was like ah. <laughs> uh, remember, remember when they started playing the riff to um, what is it called? Wow, I forgot what it was called. Dude. Illusions of a Savior? No, 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 no. It was um. Seasons of the Pan- It was Pantera's Pantera. Oh, um. Walk. Or, yeah, dude. When they started playing the riff, I was like, dude, no fucking way. I because I have some of the um, 
some of the videos on my Instagram. I don't have them on that Snapchat anymore because it got hacked. And then, uh, like, what, oh, was yeah. weird, what was super weird about that Snapchat was this motherfucker hacked my Snapchat and changed the phone number. Yeah, that's crazy. What the- this is like, what the fuck? Aren't you going to change the password or anything else <laughs> and not just the phone number? That's super weird. I'm like, bro. That sucks, bro. That's fucking stupid. So I had to make a new Snapchat, which I hardly ever use. But um, we're going to get more into that Slayer story when I just have uh, Gus on as a single guest because I feel like I'm leaving out Leo. Yeah. So because <laughs> I just see Leo. Because I just see Leo looking at us like, <laughs> so I, I, I kind of want to make him feel included. So uh, <laughs> once this, once this is all over, we all gotta go to shows and stuff. Or, oh, once shows come back together, oh fuck, For, running out of time. We move the forty minute limit. Awesome. Oh, so they uh, Zoom just. I just got a from what what's called a gift from Zoom. Saying running out of time, we've moved. We removed the forty-minute time limit from your group meeting, so we can stay on for a little bit. Awesome. Not bad. All right. So, uh, any other stories? Uh, actually, before uh, you guys start, I, I, I would hate to do this, but I need you guys to kill time a little bit because <laughs> I'm gonna. Uh, because I see that Slayer shirt and the beanie like right here. So yeah, I'm we gonna... can save that stuff for later. I, 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 I was just about to change into it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I see it. It's fucking sitting right here. So, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just wait until um, I'll wait until the next uh, the episode with just you. And yeah, yeah. that would work. Anyway, uh, any other stories between the three of us? Stories. Um, twenty-one minutes in. Nice. Not Fuck! I, I need a new phone. Continue. Uh, how about like we got plans? You know, get into like the studio. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting on you guys, cause I have a buddy that has a uh studio up in Thousand Oaks. Oh well, yeah, you told that? me about that. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh he was my seventh seventh grade music teacher right and i've become good friends with him so he uh he told me he was like i i have a place up in thousand oaks and just let me know man so i'm just waiting on you guys (laughs) because i have everything done and i'm still working on my screams i kind of lost it over the last like three months but i'm still trying to you know get everything together scream wise so what are the plans for like the first album? Like what type of sound are we gonna go for? Didn't we already discuss this? Yeah. You said kinda... something about an album called Dear Ma. Yeah. No, like that's that. a song. That's a song. That's a song? Yeah. Yeah, that's a song. <laughs> that is a song I wrote by my mom. <laughs> oh good. Remember? Man. I, right fucking, about something, you know? I uh I wrote hell, uh let me check. Because I have them in drafts. Uh, I think I wrote maybe four or five songs. I didn't write. I, have, I wrote I have about an EP. Several riffs going up already. I made them. Nice. I got I got some lyrics, but I don't know if you just wanted you. Like, are we allowed to also write? Yeah, obviously. Okay, okay. I'm not going to be a dick about it. <laughs> Who do you think I am? <laughs> All right. Um. I think I've written about. Let me go to my draft. My phone higher. Any new artists y'all have listened to? One, two, three, four. I've been listening to a lot of Ghost recently, man. Oh, uh, uh, Ghost, nice. God damn it! Um, oh, since we're talking about, yeah, I got uh, my poster back here. Oh, yeah, 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 fucking yeah. the banner. Uh, and now that we're talking about uh music releases, now that we've moved on to music. Bro, have you listened to uh, the new Bring Me the Horizon record? Wait, are you talking about their EP or do they got a new album? The uh, post-human survival. Post-human, horror. that's that's good, dude. 
dude it's amazing oh my god <laughs> one of their best ah. one of their best works dude it dude it's so good like oh uh, parasite eve that's that that gets me bro like, hyped up bro i like that song yeah so parasite much. eve okay let, i have king slayer one. dude that one I was just so hard say king bro. slayer, king slayer oh. like, who knew the baby metal collab Could would rock be so, so perfect, fucking dude. hard <laughs> it's it's perfect like if they were meant to like to collab bro dude that's oh um there was a new attack attack released for uh new music for the first time in about nine years uh oh did you ever end up checking them out gus oh no i haven't checked them out i think i forgot I'll, about it I'll, I'll send you i'll send you some shit all right, all right so and and day two remember is gonna uh, release a new album next month really yep dude they already okay. have like two songs up for it, I think. And oh, uh, no, they got like four, they got five or something like that. And Amy Lee was on uh the final song of the uh the uh the EP. Post human survival horror. No, it was an album. It, was it an says album? album. Yeah, it oh, says okay. album by Bring Me the Horizon. But yeah, Amy Lee was on the last song. And uh, as you know, Amy Lee is the lead singer of Evanescence. And uh, she's the lead singer of Evanescence. And also, yeah. (laughs) 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 All right. So, um, yeah, believe it or not, that's my favorite song from them because and only because. WWE No Way Out 2003. That my that's my favorite pay per view of all time, and that's because of two reasons. Reason one is because that was the theme song for that um for that pay per view, and uh, reason two is uh, it was the first WWE pay per view I ever watched and owned. Mm-hmm. Because I remember me and my mom. What year was it? Uh, 2003. Oh, nice. Jeez. It was the second pay-per-view of uh, 2003. It was right after the Royal Rumble. Oh, okay. It's got St- uh, Scott Steiner on the cover, flexing, looking all juice. Yeah, and he's all buffed up. <laughs> fucking, he's looking all fucking juicy magoosey. All right. Um, And the match card had Jeff Hardy and... um. Jeff Hardy and Jericho, the opening match. And then the, the last match was a rematch from WrestleMania 18. Rock and, Ho- yeah, Rock and Hogan. There's been so many rumors of Jeff Hardy, like, leaving the WWE. But because, I don't know, like, if he's going to do it or not. You know, he, uh, he said that he's going to uh, wait to bring back no more words for... Uh, He's going to wait for crowds to return. Yeah. Because apparently WWE owns the rights to that song. Yeah. And, uh, dude, my brother fucking, uh, I did a podcast with uh, uh, Cruz Kale. Uh, I don't know if you know him or not, but. Uh, I thought it was Cruz brother. Cali. No, it was Cruz Kale, dude. Oh, okay. Since he's, you know, he's in his own little fucking shit, but. Uh, he he used to watch wrestling when he was growing up, but he kind of phased out of it. He's more of an MMA guy. He had his own MMA career and everything. I oh nice. Uh, I will upload the um, podcast that I did with him, but unfortunately, it is audio only. So I got to do some editing and like put a picture up or something. Yeah. But just uh, the culture shock. Yeah, I'll just I'll just put the logo and download it as like a thumbnail and try to edit it into the fucking the video. How's he doing with this rapping? He he released a new song called Karen's. Karen's. That's really fuck like it slaps, dude. It's it's really fucking good. Yeah, I heard out my way. That, that one was pretty good. He like all things considered, he legit spits bars. Yeah. Oh, dude. Um, did you hear? Uh, about uh, that song 
there's a new song with John Cena that was uh, like made last year, and he was like legit rapping. What the heck? Like he was spitting bars, bro. He needs to come back to the ring. Bro. Legit. No, it it happened last year. Let me. Uh, the the song's called Hustler. All on. No, I actually, I actually kind of miss him wrestling. I'm not gonna lie. I see him on these movies now. For real, he. I I think uh who is the the ones that made it big in like acting? It was uh so if you think about it in the wrestling terms, the rock was one. Rock was first with piece of shit movies like the Scorpion King. Yeah. But he still and, made it. <laughs> the and tooth the tooth fairy, the tooth fairy. The two tu- dude, the tooth fairy was just oh lord. Anyway. That one was all right. It was cool. I mean the Scorpion King was a cool movie. Yeah, just the CGI wasn't that good at, it, the time, it, at the time. It was 2000. It was 18 years ago, believe yeah. it or not. So well, it, they did they did what they could. And uh, fucking, what's it called? The fav- My favorite movie that he's made is uh, The Rundown. That movie's so good, dude. It's got Sean William Scott in it with him. Holy shit, dude. That movie's so good. <laughs> It was made in like 2004, but it's still a really good movie. I remember when I was a kid, uh, like I watch, I watched that movie so many times, where it had to legit, legitimately be taken away from me because I'd watch <laughs> it all the time. That, Jeez. that and the movie Airheads, where it was about a metal band trying to get on the radio. I remember, I think Macho Man. He was he was in the Spider Man movie. Yeah, I, and, I think that's the first one. Oh, did you know that Macho Man made a rap album? He did? <laughs> yeah, Macho Man made a rap album. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Where he's like the entire album, he's just shitting on Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh my god! He's like, "Hey, Hogan, you're a piece of shit." <laughs> <laughs> like he's just shitting on Hogan the entire time. So, uh, to move on, uh, would you say, is there anything you guys can think of that we can talk about that's just a bunch of heaping nonsense so we can fill an hour? Uh, (laughs) Oh, jeez. I could could talk about stuff, but that'd be, like, more for, like, a one-on-one podcast. Because I'm thinking about it. Like, th- think about it this way. I'm talking the entire time. I feel like I'm excluding the both of you, especially you, Leon. You're just sitting there going, you look sad, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm admit, sad. I'm sad. I want to make sure you guys are included. So I'm oh, trying. No, right, I Like, that's why I'm asking you. If you have any fucking stories, go ahead. Like, if well, you have anything that pops up, fucking start talking. You're good. <clears throat> So what you guys been doing? Yeah, yeah. This, let's talk about that. <laughs> shit, you know the pandemic that we're in. Um, <laughs> this sucks, man. What Dude. you guys been doing to keep your minds occupied and off of this situation? Uh, my YouTube channel hit a hundred subs over the, uh, the the COVID thing. Oh, nice, nice. I'm currently at 113. Uh, well, there's a nice, local man. tournament. Uh, like every Sunday. They started hosting them. I don't know when they started back again, but I'm gonna start going to them. It's for Smash Ultimate. Wasn't there oh, that man. that one guy that fucking uh like did some stupid shit and then got in trouble for it? Which one? Is it the whole drama that went down with the whole pedophile shit? Oh, that's what it was. That's okay. Okay, the one I posted on my story where yeah, that's did you the see one a couple of days ago where I said unban him. Uh. I, I think I seen that. Okay. So that guy, he was what actually happened was he was set up to make it really? seem that yeah, he was set up. And he's right now, I think he's fighting like against it. It was crazy, dude. Like so many people got exposed. Oh and then uh, now there's a there's a shitty meme where it's like if you're a smash player, you're a pedophile. It's like yeah, okay, shut I- up. <laughs> Me being 17 year old, I'm like, okay, but I can be like young enough to be, you know, a victim. Yeah, you're like, I'm a victim, yeah. not not the one that's being the pedophile. It sucks, man, because they made like 
Like, we already look bad. We're a bunch of, like, weebs and nerds, but, like, just that uh, <laughs> makes it worse. Yeah, it's just like wrestling fans. They they look yeah. bad no matter what. Yeah, because, like, wrestling fans will actually act out of, like, like you. Uh, have you seen, um, what's his name, Grimm? Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, like, they have their own, like, GTS wrestling or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they, they got their, their own, own fucking, like, wrestling thing. Yeah. And here's the that one John Cena song I was talking about. I don't know if you guys can see it, but how long ago was it? It was a year ago. Oh, what the heck? After um after the podcast is over, I'll uh I'll play it for you guys. It was made on um September fifteenth, two thousand nineteen. Okay. September fifteenth? Yeah. And on the fucking video, uh John Cena's part doesn't come in until the end. And like he just straight picks up a kid and fucking tosses him. What the hell? <laughs> like it's it's fucking hilarious, dude. And legit, Cena can legitimately spit bars too. Because uh, you know his theme song, uh, Basic yeah. Thugonomics from when he was a heel. Yeah. Not not a heel, but like when he was he was doing his rapper thing. Yeah. Like I I listened to that song a few days ago and he legit spits bars, dude. Yeah, like you don't really listen to it because you usually just think about him entering the ring and then you just focus on him and not on the song. Yeah, like, like sometimes I, you gotta just like pay attention and be like, oh, the song actually goes. Like I don't listen to rap that much to be honest with you, but like that song, he legit spits bars. Yeah. Oh if uh if neither of you guys have heard it. I'll, I'll, that's that will be the second song I play because <laughs> uh, that will be after the podcast is over because this is going up on YouTube and I do not want to be copyrighted again. Oh yeah, yeah. Damn. You don't want that happening. Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> I'm not about to get sued by the WWE company I will work for in the future. I, like, I think they'll just claim your video and then they'll earn the ad revenue off it. Yeah, it's some bullshit too. Yeah. Fucking. So, uh, speaking of ad revenue, thanks for the segue. <laughs> speaking of ad revenue, uh, there's these videos that I did on SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. And I did it on Twitch. And there were Twitch archives, right? Yeah. Where I still had the uh, recording. But I forgot I played, like, music safe for Twitch on there. And I forgot to remove it. So I posted the video up. And... All of it got claimed by Trivium. Jeez. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything by Trivium and, uh, you know, the Dines X Heafy project? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary yeah. Dines and Matt Heafy? Yeah. Or Heafy? I, I don't know how you say Jared it. Jared Dines is doing some big stuff. Dude, I can't wait for that Howard Jones record. Yeah. That's oh, my suck. God. <laughs> when he posted those clips of them in the studio, I was like, okay, this is going to be Dude, a good one. When he posted that video, that picture of just him and Howard, I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you know recently, like, I think Corey Taylor did, like, a, like, an interview, and then he just slams on new rock bands. Yeah, he was like, I can't even listen to it. <laughs> Damn, bro. We got to try hard. Hey, we're not a rock band. We're a metal yeah, band. No. We're, we're a different genre. Because there's, okay, recently there's just been a formula. It's like, it's like they've been, there's been like a lot of like inspirational music, like in rock, right? Mm -hmm. But like, they need to like switch it up a bit, you know? Yeah. You know, break away from the formula. Yeah. Try to come up with something original. But that's kind of hard since, like, previous rock bands have done all that. Yeah, since there's so much out, you don't yeah. know what to do. It's going to get harder to get original in the future. Because there's so much good shit out that everything's already been done. Yeah, and then the only, the only probably the only way to be better is, like, you know, do the same thing but better. Yeah. Make changes to the best to make better, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, as we segue into Corey Taylor, um, speaking of the man himself, uh, uh, have you listened to CMFT? Yep. Look, I haven't the, got the chance to get to that yet. Black Eyes Blue is so good. Oh, I love that song so much. I fucking, dude, have you seen the video? 
No, I haven't seen the video. Oh, oh wait, show- I have seen the video. I have seen where the video. he's like come, he's in he's, the house. He's got he. You know that's his house, right? Yeah. So he's uh come, trying to go out of his house, but like he's stuck. Yeah. And uh, the video for um, CMFT must be stopped. Everybody lost their mind because of baby metal. <laughs> yeah. Everybody lost their fucking mind. All the baby metal fans. Because everybody's just like. You, it's you like expect- they deserve the respect they were getting. Because <laughs> <laughs> you expect people to be like. Because there were so many like cool people in that video. Yeah. There, was, there was Tech 9 There so, was. Yeah, that was sick. And do you, have you heard Wither, the song that Corey? Yes, I have Ryan? heard that song. He's... Dude, it's so good, like I'm, legit. I remember that album too. Like I don't listen to Tech Nine, but dude, like Corey Taylor's song. rapping isn't bad. I mean, you can he can rap because you could you remember the first Slipknot album? He yeah, he basically he was rapping. rapped the entire album. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah, he basically rapped the entire album. So we're about forty minutes in. How are you guys feeling? Pretty good. Doing um inspired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's perfect. It, that's that's all I want. All right. So it is one thirty three p.m. when we are recording this. Uh, so you guys are feeling good. Y- y- y'all mm-hmm. feel comfortable? Yep. So is this going good so far? This is going good, man. It's going good. <laughs> and just it's interesting let... to hear about, you know, all these different topics that you never, you know, walked into yourself, you know, like all this wrestling stuff. I used to watch wrestling a while ago. I stopped because I used to watch it with my dad and um, we haven't watched it in a while. You know, mm-hmm. I spend time with my dad, but I spend time with him working or I spend time with him fishing. We haven't mm-hmm. really had the time where we, you know, stay home and we watch wrestling. So mm-hmm. it's been a very long time. And uh, so far, I recall Kurt Angle being my favorite wrestler when I was a kid. Bro, oh, yeah. oh he went to the Hall of Fame in 2017, and oh, he really? retired. Yeah, he retired. Yeah. I can't believe he lost to Baron Corbin at WrestleMania. Yeah, it should have been. I I, I wanted um, actually Brock Lesnar versus um, Kurt Angle dude. at WrestleMania. No, dude, it should have been John Cena, bro. And one of them too. Because think about it. Yeah, like John Cena started his career fighting Kurt Angle too. And but Kurt Angle and Brock had that rivalry. They had that fucking hour long uh, Iron Man match on yeah. SmackDown. It should have been either one of those two, like an older fighter. Yeah. All right. So um, as we move on to wrestling, uh, as we go back to wrestling, actually, uh, Undertaker retired. Yeah. Don't, don't remind me. <laughs> After 30 years in the game, it's sad, dude. It's hard to believe, too. Bro, it's like, no, there's no way he 30 retired. years. I yeah. like it's in triple H is getting old as well, bro. All of our like heroes when we were kids are getting these older. New, these new fighters don't feel the same, like, it, ju- it just like, doesn't hit the same. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't hit what it hit when we were kids, yeah. Because th- I remember, um, my dad's favorite wrestlers were, uh. Rey Mysterio and um, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, oh, those. Yeah, Dude, my they dad, were part my of dad, the SmackDown Six. My dad was really, you know, sad about Eddie Guerrero's death. Yeah. Oh, um. um speaking of, sorry to cut you off, but speaking of no, Eddie Guerrero's okay. death, uh, Gus, did you watch the Chris Benoit Dark Side of the Ring? No, I actually haven't seen it yet. Did uh, there's two parts, and I'll I'll send them to you. All right. There's there's like there's videos on it on YouTube. Well, did you know that Eddie Guerrero he died in Chavo's arms? Duh, that's uh, sad. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm laughing about that, but I, I'm sorry. Where, just... where was it at? Was he like in a hospital? Or I think it was in a hotel. Room? Right? He was in his, he was in his uh, hotel room. He OD'd. Dang. Yeah, it was like painkillers, right? Yeah, it was painkillers. That's scary because like I remember when I remember when I had to miss like school for a week, like. Mm-hmm. When I when I kept doing that, yeah, because I had like a it's called a pylon cyst. I don't know how to say it, but it just hurt so bad. Like and it was like it was basically on my ass, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I I couldn't stand up, right? It was like okay, when I see videos of it, people can like the most the the most they can't do is sit, but they can walk mm-hmm. around and find. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't do either, 
so I had to like snail, you know. <laughs> yeah, you just it is fucking sucks army so crawl. Much. And then I remember taking a picture of the pain the painkiller bottle we mm-hmm. got at Costco, right? Because my mom knew I kept getting that, so she got that for me, mm-hmm. and it was full. And when I remember, like after the day it popped, because like it, it hurts, like I, I actually I, have to wait for imagine, my man. I actually have to wait for my skin to rip. Oh, but fuck. yeah, it sucks, dude. Ah. I'm so like I'm so glad it doesn't happen anymore. Like I hope I, it dude. doesn't happen, but. The bottle was halfway, and I got scared because, like, I remember Eddie Guerrero dying off painkillers. Yeah, yeah. Plus, there, dude, there's so many, like, the life expectancy for a wrestler. Like, with all the teachers I've talked to, because uh, you know how I'm pretty sure both of you know that I'm going to be a professional wrestler. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. Cross your fingers. <laughs> because there's a school in Arizona that there's a wrestling school, right? 15 minutes from where I'm going to live and like maybe five, 10 minutes from there is a uh, wrestling promotion that has a small circuit television show in Arizona. Yeah. It's nice. Championship wrestling from Arizona. So I might be on TV. Nice. Closed circuit TV, but I might be on TV. Anyway, uh, going back to painkillers and Eddie Guerrero and all that. Um, yeah, he died in 2005, and oh wait, what were we talking about before that? When he passed away in Chavo's arms. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, from the transcript of the Dark Side of the Ring uh, interview, it was all organized by uh, Chris Jericho, by the way, who was doing the voiceover for season two. Oh. And. Uh, I got some pretty cool shit going on with Chris, like uh, that that involves Chris Jericho that I'll show you guys after the interview's over. But um, from what the transcript said, it said that um, Chavo said that he was because uh, normally it would be uh, Chris, or no, at that point it was Scott Armstrong who. Uh, you know the referee from WWE from yeah. uh, like 2009. You remember when he refereed the Undertaker's feud with CM Punk? Yeah, the guy with the white hair. Yeah, yeah, I know. Him. It was Scott Armstrong, Chavo Guerrero, and Eddie, and they would all, uh, all of them would like go to the same hotel and like get up at seven in the morning and work out, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just when I see that picture, it makes me laugh. <laughs> uh, it's throwing me off a little bit. Anyway, um, so uh, the the morning of when it happens, uh, Chavo got a call from the front desk of the hotel room, of uh, or of the hotel, and he said they said there's something going on with your uncle you need to like come in here and see this right so he chavo came in and uh he uh he saw eddie on the floor and you can like from what he said he could just hear uh like eddie gurgling like you know like he was dying yeah because he od'd and this was the second time he OD'd because the first time was on the ca- on the couch at his house. Oh dang. With uh, you know, Vicky and then his two kids. Uh, because I from what I remember that interview, that episode, uh, he said Vicky said that she told Eddie, she was like, You gotta get your fucking life together, dude. I'm not me and the kids aren't staying around for this so Eddie ended up ODing right and she just looked at him and just fucking walked out the door and took the kids to school and then uh, the second second time he OD'd was uh, he ended up ODing and then uh, Chavo held him in his arms and then he kept on like wiping spit from his mouth and he was like you're you're gonna be okay you're gonna get through this and then he just fucking like croaked 
Dang. And just think about that, dude. Your, your uncle just fucking croaked in your arms, man. That, especially the type of relationship that Eddie and Chavo had, where they were on the road twenty four seven together. Yeah. So that that sucks. And uh, Chris Benoit, not Ben. Uh, Chris, not Benoit. Uh, Jericho. Jericho. Uh, Jericho said that in that same Dark Side of the Ring episode, he was like, uh, the day Eddie died sealed Chris, uh, sealed Benoit's fate. Because I don't know uh, if you've seen it or not, but go back and watch the, uh, go back on the WWE Network and watch the Eddie Guerrero um, memorial episode. Yeah, the Eddie Guerrero tribute episode, and you'll see everyone was talking about it. Yeah, when everybody was talking about uh Guerrero, and you'll see Chris with a I'm your poppy t shirt on, yeah, was uh his like with which was Eddie's t shirt at the time, yeah, and like you see him in the background while Vince is talking, you see him in the background fucking losing it. No, like he was bawling so bad and. If you watch that same episode, and if you see the interview uh, that Benoit had in that episode of Raw, dude, it's so fucking hard to watch. It because like he just like l- completely loses it, and he's you could just sense the fucking loss that he went through. It, it's so it sucks, dude. I mean, it's yeah. a good episode of Raw to memorialize one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. But just seeing what he had, what Chris, like how hard he was taking it, fucking sucked. And uh, from what I know, uh, Eddie Guerrero was very religious. Like, yeah. from what um, I was, from what I know, in that same Dark Side of the Ring episode, I know I keep referencing it, but it's where I got all the information from. Yeah. So, uh, I this story is going to be a little weird. So, uh, Chavo said that um, Eddie was a very religious individual. Like, he would grab a Bible, be completely naked in the locker room, right? Like, fucking completely nude. Standing up and reading scriptures from the Bible. Like, completely naked, by the way. He's full, like stark ass naked with a red mohawk. You know, like he was a red mohawk. Like yeah, <laughs> he fucking like balls out and everything. He, he's reading oh, scriptures. God, no. <laughs> the way you're describing it, <laughs> stark ass naked with red mohawk. You know, like <laughs> all right. So, uh, and in that same. Bro, this entire podcast episode has turned into a retrospective on Chris Benoit. <laughs> Let's change the subject, please, because what he did is a heinous thing, and I don't want to talk about him anymore. I mean, he he's <laughs> one, like, from an in-ring standpoint, he was arguably one of the best to ever do it. One of the but, best heavyweight champs. But from a person standpoint, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. He's he's a garbage Ooh. person. It was like that right. in, the, in the back, like hmm? he was that like off off stage. He was like that. No, that no leading up to his final days. Oh, okay. It was leading up to that final weekend. Yeah. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. We're gonna have a we would yeah. have a separate episode about it, but I don't yeah, feel like we gotta uh, switch the topic. I don't feel like I want that type of heat on me, so. Yeah. Switch topics. Somebody talk about something else. Um, Bring something else up. Uh, well, I've been on the hunt for a new graphics card. There you go. All right. <laughs> Thank nice, you man. for nice. fucking changing the I subject. Have, I have a Radeon 550 and it struggles to run Warzone. I have a... Oh, wait. For, for what? For a PC. Oh, I have a... Um, I think I have an AMD Radeon 5 uh, graphics card in this laptop. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, and it runs Gears 5. Oh, nice. 
I'd like I'd fucking it runs Gears of War five. I, and you know it's pretty cool. I got I forgot what mine was called. <laughs> <laughs> and uh I don't know if you guys can see this, but look how fucked my phone is. Yeah, I saw the crack earlier. Damn. What happened? It fell out of my pocket once at work. Oh, that sucks, dude. Because yeah. you know how uh, <laughs> how I was working the science vending, right? Yeah. I had it in my back because I, I had my mask on and everything. Yep. I had it in my back pocket and I was listening to music, right? Yeah. And then I turned because the wind kind of jerked the sign, right? So yeah. I turned and then the uh, the cord, the the um, headphone cord caught the sign, right? Oh, God. Jerked out. Pulled my phone out and just dropped face oh down. Oh my god! And I was like, "Please don't let it be bad. Please don't let it be bad. Please don't let it be bad." That's and then I fucking turn it upwards, and I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> See, if it was an iPhone, it would completely yeah, it would have shattered. Completely shattered. Dude. <laughs> That's why I'm scared to drop my phone, dude. Because I, I dropped my phone, and my whole phone just shattered. I had to replace <laughs> everything. Everything. Jeez. It was so no. bad. I need to be super careful with mine because my, my mom's actually going to sell this one and she'll give me the new one. But that's why I like I always try to have like my AirPods on me. So like because I work, I always go around like tables and I don't want it to get stuck in the cord. Yeah, my, uh, at my job up in uh, Idlewild, um, I, I use AirPods when I'm working and I always make sure I have my phone like either in my left or back pot, uh, right front pocket pocket um pocket <laughs> but I gotta be careful because when I'm lifting up blocks you gotta be careful because you don't know if you're gonna drop it on you you know mm-hmm. like yeah. accidentally hold it on your lap because iPhones they crack easily man yeah. that's why I got an Android <laughs> get a Nokia you drop the Android you're able to rebuild it like a I got a set. Samsung <laughs> like a Lego <laughs> set the and battery falls out everything. and like look at that shit fucking can you see that. Oh, it's shit. all fucked up. And you gotta remember, I've had this phone since seventh grade. Wow, oh, dang. I it's I, I'm in dire need of an upgrade. <laughs> Time for an upgrade. So as we move on, uh we are fifty six minutes, fifty six minutes, fifty five seconds in. How do you feel? Pretty good. Feel awesome. <laughs> uh, I'm happy I was able to do this. Like <laughs> So now yeah, I have to uh, do very minimal editing because I don't have a fucking, I, I don't have a. Uh, just cut off the quiet parts. I, I don't have an intro. I don't have anything, right? So well, you can just to... put the logo for like a second or then like, or after this, one of us can record like a voiceover, you know? Yeah, but I'll, I'll try to work that out. Anyway, right. um, changing topic. You said uh, I said we're going for an hour, so fifty-seven minutes in. Uh, do you guys feel like it's time to wrap it up? Since it's one fifty, and yeah, we need to wrap it up. Well, let's try going to two. You you said you have until two, right? Yeah, like I can do it till two. So that's ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys want to talk about for the next ten minutes? Oh, well, I uh, thought, okay. I thought. Oh, you want to go? There? This will be no, the no, longest no, podcast episode I have ever done. Okay, so I found, like, something ironic. I remember, okay, because, like, okay, because I remember, and uh, like, it was in 2019, summer, 2019, right? Before the whole 2020 year, you know? Before I, shit went wild. Yeah, before, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, some good stuff, like, I, I remember listening to Baby Metal, right? And I remember just thinking to myself, what if my first uh, concert is baby metal? Like I laughed at my, I laughed to myself at that. I swear the next day they announced they were going to the forum, and I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way, dude. And I, I asked my to mom. Go see System of a Down um, at the Los Angeles um, place. You know how you yeah, the to buy tickets for it and all that. Yeah. I wanted, I wanted to go, and I actually had the money for it too. But when this pandemic started. I noticed that they weren't going to do it. And I was yeah, like, oh, you guys sucks. are kidding me. Oh, yeah. was going to have a concert, too. With uh, Korn, Korn, Faith no, System of a Down yeah, and Faith someone no else. More. Faith No and More. Kill Switch. Yeah. Kill Switch and Gage was going to have one in March of yeah. 2020. And uh, Kiera went to, um, I'm trying to get her on the podcast, too, because I was talking about it. I was talking to her about it. 
but she went to a system of a down concert lucky what the wow like she even wanna, has a t-shirt from mad. it and everything lucky i had the money for it i was gonna buy the tickets and then all of a sudden the pandemic started and they said hey we're not gonna do it because yeah, it's dude. pandemic and i was dude. like oh shit fucking tool went on tour <laughs> dude ozzy was on tour with marilyn manson and, I, and oh. it was, they were gonna do a show in san diego oh uh did you hear what happened about marilyn manson no actually, yeah he, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he came out as a piece of shit yeah. <laughs> what a surprise yeah, I know every <laughs> out of everyone. I expecting Marilyn Manson. <laughs> hey, yo, Seth. All right, go ahead. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna cut it short right now. I gotta. I got something I gotta do right now. All right, we're we're an hour in, so we're good. So, All right. uh, nice plug your social you medias. Plug, nice. uh, before you leave, plug your social medias. Uh, my social media. If you want to see what I've been working on, like guitar riffs, or if I'm um, any work shit. You can follow me at um, Leon underscore Sanchester. So, yeah. I'll, I'll put it all in the description. All right, man. It was nice talking to you all. all. Right. You all who yeah. are watching. See you later, have man. A good, good life. Take it easy. Stay safe. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Don't worry. <laughs> right, see you later, Leo. Peace see up, you, Leo. I'll see you later. Peace. So, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> the picture. So, um, we are an a hour and 55 seconds in. And we only, it's only 1.53. So, uh, oh, well, um, what do you continue. Okay. So, I remember how I said um, they announced their show mm-hmm. literally the next day. Mm-hmm. So, I remember going to my mom because, like, I'd go to a card shop and play Yu Gi Oh! with Andrew, right? Because, like, it was the first time we we're doing that. You know, it was pretty fun, too. Like, mm-hmm. we got, we went like for like, we went like three days, I remember, mm-hmm. just to play Yu Gi Oh! And then I remember going home and asking my mom. Uh, and then she's like asked her if we can go mm-hmm. and she was like yeah because it was like three months away you know she's like because yeah. it gives her it gives us time to like save up and plan and like plan everything out yeah yeah and she said yes and i was like no way <laughs> i was like i really because i i remember thinking it was like this what if they're my first concert and then they actually ended up being my first concert and uh i remember you showed me what, was it before the concert that you showed me some baby metal? Like you showed me Distortion. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what songs did you? Sh- Actually, I think I have them in the playlist that uh, you made on my Spotify. Yeah. Because I remember, uh, I was like, "Make me a playlist of songs, right?" No, oh, I can make you a big playlist, dude. Like they're actually their self, their whole self-titled album is just amazing, dude. Oh, have you heard? Um, uh, Trivium's new album? No, I actually haven't. What the it. Dead Men Say? No, I haven't heard it. I need to listen to it. The There's been so many old. things that I've been catching up to. Like, I finished My Hero Academia. I'm almost caught up to Attack on Titan. I've been catching up on some things. So here is all of the... Here's the, the Gus playlist. Yes. I need to add more. Here is... Uh, Oh, God damn it. copyright. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't hear nothing. Starting over by Kill Switch and Gage. I'm in my feels, bro. You see that? You, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you can see. Do I need to turn up my brightness or turn down my brightness so you can nah, see? This? It was, it was fine. Okay, yeah. Oh God, those are a lot of good songs, dude. Holy Diver, bro. That song goes. The original song is good as fuck, too. Yeah. Oh, Crystal Lake, bro. Their new stuff is so good. Atlas, Wage War, yes. I need more. I need to add more. And like, then, just, just slap the whole self-titled Slipknot album in there. And then there's recommendations. <laughs> I don't know. You told me to do it in the car, but we, we were like, we already arrived to the concert. I, I was, was like, just like, do it. And then and we I was already doing arrived. It, yeah. yeah, we already got there. So I didn't we arrived to the concert, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Um, uh, well, it's one fifty six. Do you want to just like end it and then I'll? Yeah, we can wrap it up. Are we gonna do one with the whole band, like a yeah. part two? Yeah, hopefully it all depends on Jacob. Yeah, because I'm planning on doing a one on one with you too, since you kind of set it up during this one. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of gave a hint to the future, so yeah, I was I... like, yeah, I got some time right before, like I gotta do stuff. 
So think about it. If uh, we do a one-on-one, -on -one because if we don't, people are going to get mad at me. So <laughs> we, we kind of have to. And yeah, just write some stuff down that you want to ask me. Then I'll write some stuff down. And then we could about. just, yeah, we could just tell, like, we can tell the Slayer story. Yeah. You know, shit like that. We are one minute or one hours, one minute, long ass one minute, <laughs> one hour and four minutes in. And it's 1.57 p.m. Let's wrap this up because right. you have to leave at two. Plug your social medias. Uh, Instagram, GCGus11. Uh, I just put some random stuff there. You want me to uh, add your Twitter? <laughs> my Twitter? No, I, I haven't done anything on Twitter. Actually, isn't it Goofabo? Like my yeah. Twitter? Yeah. Uh, you um, you follow me on Twitter. So. <laughs> yeah, Goofabo is my Twitter. I just, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, then I'm thinking of streaming. I don't know. Like on YouTube or Twitch? Uh, either one. Cause if we do, if we can do Twitch, dude, I'd be down to, I'd be down to stream with you. Cause I have a Twitch yeah, it's channel. Just, Twitch is fucked right now with the whole DMCA stuff. Yeah, it's some bullshit, and mm -hmm. I don't see how Matt Heafy can like do that because you know, the main thing what he does is music. Well, it's his own mm -hmm. music, but still. All right, uh, you, would you say we're done here? Cause it's one fifty eight, and you have to go. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for joining me. That has been episode six, believe it or not. Episode six of the Culture Shot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to Leo yeah, for joining thank you me. For having me. No problem, man. You're going to be on for another episode, which is a separate one on one, which I will do whenever you have the free time. I'll probably have it tomorrow because I'm, I'm just going to go like to Brian's and practice for the tournament on Sunday. Yeah, just uh, just keep me posted, man. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you all for watching and or listening, whatever the hell you're doing on this, if you're listening to it on Spotify or watching it on YouTube. Thanks. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I will have you on again. So, uh, yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right, so I guess we're done here. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of an intro for you. So I, like, you know, one of the guests, you make them say, is like, this is me, like my name. And then uh -huh. you're watching the Culture Shock. And then after that, you cut into the Culture Shock logo. And then you go into the podcast. Yeah, that, that could work. Want no, me to do it? After, um, and like, after this, after I end the meeting, I'll make another one. And then we can discuss all that. Right. Or well, I can I can record the voice right now. Yeah, we do we can do that later. Because okay. we're we're recording right now. Let's do it later. Let's be professional oh, yeah, about yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Wait, so, you're gonna cut this out, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut this out. Okay. See you later. See ya. Well, I'm probably not gonna cut it out, but you know, fuck it. <laughs> who who cares? Okay. okay. So uh yeah, we have to end it now because it's two o'clock. So yeah. see you later. <laughs> All right, see ya.